The chamber is now back in session, and the floor is given to the lead co-lawyer for the civil party to resume questioning to the witness. You may now proceed. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président, Thank Madame you, le Mr. Témoin. Madame Witness. Vous êtes-vous marié pendant le régime du Cambodge démocratique Donc, avez-vous, peut-être pour faire plus simple, vous êtes-vous marié entre 1975 et 1979 Je Got married in late 1977. Je me suis marié à la fin de l'année 1977. As I said, I got married in late 1977. Je vous remercie. Étiez-vous dans l'unité mobile dont vous nous avez parlé tout à l'heure quand vous êtes marié? Were you a member of the mobile unit you referred to a while ago when you got married? After I got married, I was sent to the cooperative. I no longer lived marié, in the mobile unit. Je suis parti dans la coopérative et je n'étais plus dans l'unité mobile. Vos conditions de vie et de nourriture étaient-elles meilleures une fois que vous avez été transféré dans la coopérative? Was that better? when you were transferred to the cooperative. At the cooperative, I received more food oh, than when I was at the mobile unit. Que lorsque j'étais dans l'unité mobile. Connaissiez-vous votre mari avant le jour du mariage? Did you know your husband before the day of your marriage? I I knew my husband when I was at the mobile unit. My husband was in the fishing unit. Il était dans l'unité de pêche. Vous souvenez-vous? Du nombre de couples qui ont été mariés ce jour de 1977. Étiez-vous le seul couple à être marié ou y avait-il d'autres couples lors de la cérémonie de mariage? Or there were other couples during the marriage ceremony. There were many couples who were organized to get married in late 1977. There were also couples organized to get married at the beginning of 1977. As for me, I was arranged to get married in late 1977. You have appeared to remember the date of your marriage in 1977. Can you explain to the court what you felt the day of your marriage? How you felt on the day of your marriage? In what state of mind was you during that ceremony? In what state of mind was you during that ceremony? Anka organized our marriage. I did not know my husband clearly, but because Anka encouraged us to get married, so I followed the order. Auriez-vous pu refuser cet ordre de l'Anka de vous marier? Could you have refused that order by Anka to get married? I could not refuse the order. Je ne pouvais pas refuser. I needed to abide by the order to get married, although I may love or may not love my husband. Peu importe si j'aimais mon mari. 
y a-t-il eu des personnes dans votre unité mobile qui ont refusé de se marier No one refused to get married. Everyone followed the order when Anka instructed them to get married. And there were many couples arranged to get married, and then they were sent to cooperatives. Et de quoi aviez-vous peur à l'époque si vous décidiez de refuser de vous marier? at the time if you decided not to get married. I did not dare to refuse because I felt afraid that I would be taken to swipe the thumb because they said that those who dare to refuse would be taken to swipe the thumb. Et pouvez-vous expliquer à la cour qu'est-ce que swipe the thumb? Can you explain to the chamber what "svite poton" means? I did not know that place well. I only heard people say that if any couples who refused to get married, they would be taken to "svite the term. So when I heard this, I needed to follow the instruction from Anka to get married. Et saviez-vous à l'époque ce qu'il arrivait au couple qui refusait de se marier et qui était emmené à Zweitotem Did you know what happened to couples who refused to get married and were taken to Zweitotem Those who refused to get married, they were taken to be re-educated at the commune office. And if they still refused to get married, and then they would be taken to Zweitotem. Who presided over the marriage ceremony? Do you recall that? I did not know that person. I only knew that that person worked at the commune office. That person did not tell us his or her name. I only knew that that person worked at the commune office. And I did not know either what position that person held. Quel poste occupait cette personne Avez-vous passé la, la nuit de noces, la première nuit, avec votre euh, nouvel époux Your wedding night, that is the first night after your marriage, with your husband. After the marriage, we did not Après le mariage, sleep together. Nous we went away separately. He went to his parents' house and I went to my parents' house. We did not spend the night together. Y avait-il une obligation quelconque de consommer le mariage? Est-ce que c'est quelque chose que vous avez entendu? Is that something you heard either from the Khmer Rouge cadres or from your mobile group leader, mobile team leader? Yes, they told us that we needed to consummate the marriage. If we refused to consummate the marriage, we would be taken to the commune office to make sure that we would consummate there. Qu'on le fasse là-bas. Vous a-t-on expliqué pourquoi vous deviez vous marier et pourquoi vous deviez absolument consommer le mariage? Why you had to get married and why you absolutely had to consummate the marriage? 
they said that they wanted us to fulfill our marriage obligation before we, we were sent away to the West. Sinon, on nous à so we needed to follow that instruction because if we refused to follow si the instruction, refusait, we would be killed. Despite that doing so means that we would lose our honor. Même si le faire aurait signifié perdre notre honneur. Avez-vous eu des enfants avec euh, l'époux que vous avez marié en, en décembre 1977 It was a long time uh, before we started to have children. So when I was sent to the West, I was three months pregnant. Quand je suis parti à l'Ouest, j'avais, j'étais enceinte de trois mois. I did not reach the assigned location. Je I only arrived au, at Tuang. At Tuang, at, at Bangkuntum. I was Tuang. ill at that time. Et malade. And I was sent back. Et on m'a renvoyé. When, at, uh, when I arrived at that place, Quand je suis arrivé à I cet told là, people that I went to urinate, and my husband also told the people that he also need to go to urinate. Et mon mari a lui aussi dit qu'il devait aller so, uriner. instead of uh, re releasing myself, I, I went back. Je suis rentré. Avez-vous eu cet enfant dont vous parlez pendant le, le régime du Kampuchea démocratique avant l'arrivée des Vietnamiens début 1979 I would not go there because it was a far away place. Je pensais que je I needed to je return. Je pas car je, très loin et que je devais Whatever rentrer. happened, I still think I still I still thought that I needed to return. Je pensais que je devais retourner. Et quand vous dites retourner, and when you say that you needed to return. Voulez-vous dire que vous êtes retourné à votre village natal Ou êtes-vous retourné Sur le retour, j'ai couru dans la forêt. Et quand Go to sleep Et la nuit, je in the village. I spent the night in the forest. La nuit dans la forêt. And then uh, the next day, I arrived at my old cooperative. Suivant, je suis arrivé dans mon ancienne coopérative. And people at the cooperative told me that because I was assigned to Ceux go somewhere else, so they had no food ration for me. So my mother shared her food ration with me. Partager sa nourriture avec moi. So later on, the Vietnamese arrived Et plus tard, and les we were liberated. Et nous avons été libérés. Juste, je vous remercie, euh, Madame le témoin. J'ai juste une dernière Madame question. Souvenez-vous uh, euh, plus précisément de la cérémonie Do you remember et avez-vous dû prononcer un vœu ou un serment lors de cette cérémonie de mariage en décembre 1977 Et si oui, qu'avez-vous dit lors de cette cérémonie Et si oui, qu'avez-vous dit lors de cette cérémonie cette personne, that was my, mon mari, de vivre avec cette personne pour le reste de mes jours, c'est ce que j'ai dit pendant l'engagement que j'ai pris à ce moment-là. 
Je vous remercie, Madame le témoin, d'avoir répondu à mes questions. Completed my examination of the witness, Mr. President. President, Président. thank you. Now the floor is given to the Defence Council for Mr. Nunchir to put questions to the witness. You may now proceed, Council. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, good afternoon, um, Madam bon Witness. Just um, very few questions. Uh, Quelques you. brèves questions à vous poser. Uh, just a follow-up question um, in relation to de suivi um, your marriage. Au sujet uh, de votre mariage. Uh, are you still married to the same man that you married in uh, 1977? Ce même homme que vous avez épousé en 1977? Yes, oui. uh, we still live together until nous now. Nous vivons encore we ensemble. did not get divorced. Nous nous He's divorcés. still my husband until now. Il est toujours mon mari. Question. You, you, you might have answered that question already, but um, déjà à how la question. many Mais children did you subsequently have with avec, um, your husband? Avec votre mari. Réponse. I have four children. Quatre enfants. Question. Uh, thank you, um, Madam Witness. Merci, now, um, following up a question from um, oh, the civil party uh, lead co lawyer, uh, uh, sur une you question said que that um, pour les uh, Prum Young vous avez dit que Prum um, was interviewed in your house. A été uh, did I understand that correctly? Interviewé dans votre maison. Ai-je bien compris? Yes. Réponse. As I said earlier, oui, comme je l'ai dit, that Prom Yan, he, Yan. He, he, he told me that uh, if I come to the court to testify at the si court, je uh, déposer au tribunal, I would not give detailed information, but if he come to the court, he would give a very detailed de information to si the lui chamber. Venait, il pourrait donner beaucoup plus de détails à la chambre. And when he was interviewed Question. in your house, Et quand il a été was it then chez vous, that you heard the story of Tet? À ce moment-là que vous avez entendu parler de l'histoire de Tet? Tep is Yan relative. Tep is de la famille de Yan. I, I do not have any relative whose name is Tep. Moi, je n'ai pas de membre de la famille qui s'appelle Tep. I think Tep is Tayan's relative. Je pense que Tep est membre de la famille de Tayan. Let, let, let me ask it question. differently. Je vais poser um, la question autrement. Earlier this afternoon, you were asked questions about... Plutôt. Um, um, Cet après-midi a mixed on vous a posé des uh, questions Chinese au sujet d'une femme woman, métisse chinoise um, et khmer told by Prumyan c'est une histoire qu'avait raconté Prumyan did you hear that story from Prumyan there and then in your Quand house or was it something that you heard c'est incident vous en avez eu connaissance de la bouche de Prumyan chez vous pendant l'interview ou à l'époque President, Madame Witness, please hold on. The floor is given to international deputy co-prosecutor. Monsieur le Président, il me semble qu'il y a une suggestion de la part de la défense que nécessairement cette dame, parce que l'interview de Prumia aurait eu lieu chez elle, y aurait assisté. Ça ne semble pas être établi, donc il faudrait poser des questions si c'était cela que un established fact. And um, I don't think that is the case, so that suggestion shouldn't be made. We have the statements of uh, um, half caste uh, person who was Vietnamese, and the lady talked of a Chinese and said it was Chinese, so we're not talking of the same person. 
Maybe the prosecutor wasn't listening. Peut-être que le procureur a mal écouté. Moi, j'ai cru l'entendre dire en réponse à une commande de précision de la Cour 80 balles pour le Parti civil que Promian parlait dans sa maison, déposait chez elle. Et c'est pourquoi j'ai posé la question à propos de la maison. Si j'ai bien compris, c'est ce qu'elle a dit et c'est pourquoi je poursuis là-dessus. Le président. The objection by the international deputy prosecutor is overruled. So, Madame Witness, you may answer this question if you can. Madame le témoin, veuillez répondre à la question. Réponse. From Jan said. About this regarding the mixed blood woman, a parlé de cette femme because de race mixte. Promyan was the one who knew about this. C'est Promyan qui le savait. For me, I did not know about this at all. Moi, je n'étais pas du tout au courant de cela. It was Promyan who talked about this mixed blood Chinese woman. De cette femme métisse sino-khmer. And was it the first time you ever heard this story when he? was interviewed in your house? He was present at the interview. Il était présent lors de l'entretien. And he said something like that. And he said that he he talked everything based on his knowledge. Uh, I understand that, but do you remember whether that was the first time you, you heard Prumian tell this story? Was it the first time you heard about this story? I cannot recall whether it's First time or second time? Je ne me souviens pas si c'était la première fois ou la deuxième fois. One last question on this subject. Dernière question à ce propos, dit Maître Coppe. When he was interviewed in your house, was he interviewed by only one my person, or was he interviewed by my person together with? Une personne khmer au côté d'un baron, d'une personne occidentale. I cannot recall who were the interviewers, how many interviewers. Participated in the interview at that time. I could recall only what Tajan said, but I could not recall whether there was also a foreign interviewer. That's not a problem, Madam Witness. One last question as to what Tajan might have said to the interviewer. Um, do you recall him saying something about um, Vous -vous a dit the quelque Khmer Sar uh, or the white Khmer led Khmer by Sopal, the secretary Sopal, of Re Romia Hek district? Du district de Romia Hek. Did you, do you remember him speaking about Vous that? -vous a dit uh, that the villagers had joined the Khmer Sar, and that the Khmer Sar was led by Sopal, the secretary of Rumi Hek district. district de Hek Sopal. Yes, I heard Tajang said so. But I did not re remember the date when he said like that, I only remember that he did say something like that. And was that the first time 
you heard the story of Sopal and Khmer Sar, or was that something that you had known already before he gave that interview? I only knew about this so-called white Khmer only after I heard from Ta what Tayan told me. C'est après avoir entendu ce que m'a dit Tayan que j'ai appris au sujet de ces Khmer Sa. Um, and then my last question, um, Madam Witness. Mr. President, I would like to refer question, ma question, uh, to document, document E3 slash 1132, um, more particularly to English ERN 00548-1. Uh, 772, 772 um, French 008-07139, and Khmer 0016-0076. Madam Witness, I'm, I'm going to ask you a question about a document that you have no knowledge um, about, um, but it refers to an incident in the night of uh, 24 December 1976. Um, I will read it to you and, and, and maybe somehow it could um, jog your memory. It says the following, um, 24 December 1976, in sector 23, at night, a platoon of Vietnamese soldiers entered and waited to launch an attack against our army near Dong Chas Pagoda in Dong Commune. Sari, one of our combatants, was shot dead. He was the platoon chief of Rumia Hek district. A question, Madam Witness, have you ever heard of such an incident in, in, in your district in uh, end, end of 1976? Mr. President, uh, this is an issue of method. I don't know why it was necessary to read out an excerpt um, of another document instead of putting an open question regarding this. I don't understand this uh, method that apparently seeks to influence the witness. Several times we've heard objections from the other side of the bar regarding this, so I think the defense should stick by um, the uh, procedures that are allowed before this chamber and not come with uh, testimonies from the outside that have nothing to do with uh, this witness's personal story, and then uh, abruptly put a question to her regarding that. Uh, no, no, no problem, Mr. Mr. President. I will rephrase. Um, Madam Witness, have Merci. you ever heard of Vietnamese soldiers um, entering the district end of December uh, 1976, um, making an attack? Do you recall anything about Vietnamese attacks in, in your district? Answer. I have no knowledge of it. I never heard of it. Have you ever seen um, or heard um, Vietnamese troops um, launching attacks? Have you ever heard Vietnamese artillery fire, for instance, um, close to where you were working or in your village? It did happen, the artillery shelling was launched to the east of the place of our work site. It did not happen right on our work site. Yes, there uh, was artillery firing 
into the neighboring location close to the place where we worked. And was this Vietnamese artillery fire? And if yes, uh, did it happen often? Question, est-ce que c'est arrivé souvent et l'interprète n'a pas entendu le début de la question? It did not happen very often. It happened uh, once in a month or once in every two months. I thank you very much, uh, Madam Witness. Thank you. Je vous remercie, Madame le témoin. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. President, the floor is now given to the defence team for Mr. Kirsten Paul. You can proceed now. Merci, Thank you, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Madame le Témoin. Good afternoon, très, deux très courtes I have questions two de clarification. Very short clarification questions Je m'appelle d'abord Antagissé. First of all, my name is Antagissé. I am the international co-counsel for Mr. Kirsten-Pan. Um, tout à l'heure, répondant à une question de question Monsieur le procureur, vous avez indiqué que um, dans votre unité mobile, unit, uh, il y avait des jeunes gens qui se portaient volontaires pour uh, se marier uh, to get married, uh, pour pouvoir ensuite in order to uh, aller dans les coopératives où uh, les conditions étaient meilleures. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris votre better. déposition so Monsieur le Président, je vous remercie. La situation dans les unités mobiles était pire. Than that in the cooperatives. The tasks engaged by the mobile units of a consider the hot battle field, and uh, those who were in the mobile unit had a very little porridge to eat. Sometimes we would go to work, and uh, we had no sufficient food to eat. Le ventre vide. Ma question est la suivante. My question, vous, my following vous avez question indiqué que vous êtes marié en 1977 avec votre mari with, uh, toujours actuel et que lui travaillait à l'unité de pêche. Ma question est la suivante. Est-ce um, est que um, vous vous êtes porté volontaire uh, pour ce mariage uh, marriage, dans le but de uh, quitter uh, l'unité mobile the objective of leaving the, uh, mobile unit? Answer. I volunteered. Oui, je me suis porté volontaire. And uh, I decided to get married so Et that I would be sent to be working in the cooperative since uh, the situation there was a better. And as I said, although I did not love the one si that I was to get married at the time, I decided marier, to accept the marriage. Je n'ai pas d'autres questions, Monsieur. I have no further questions, Mr. President. President, thank you. The hearing this of the testimony of An Yun has now come to an end. Thank you, Madame An Yun, for coming as a witness to testify before the chamber. Your testimony will contribute to the truth. You may not be accused. You may return to your residence or to any places you wish to go. I wish you good luck, good health, and prosperity. Thank you as well, Madame Chai Maridad. TPO staff, you may also be accused. Court officer, please work with vessels to send Madame An Yun back to her residence or to any places she wishes to go. You can now leave the courtroom, Madame Witness. The chamber is now hearing the request of 87-4 motion of the defense uh, counsel for Mr. Nguyen Chia requesting to admit some documents uh, to be used in the examination of 2 TCE 95. Also on 2nd February 2016, 
Nun, the Nun Chi Defense has circulated a courtesy copy of a second Rule 87 for motion, including 14 additional documents it intends to put to 2CE95, who is scheduled to testify next week, E367-4. By email, Nunchi uh, Defense has notified the chamber that it has been able, it has been unable to translate this motion into Khmer and request that uh, the trial chamber accept this filing in English only. The legal officer uh, has sent an email uh, to the requester uh, that uh, uh, the defense team uh, can submit the motion in English first, followed by the Khmer version later on. Now the chamber uh, is hearing the responses of a party, and since the hearing of a new and is concluded early before the schedule, and since parties informed that they were ready to submit their responses to the motion, TC hereby decides to hear the responses now. Now the chamber gives the floor to the co-prosecutors to give the responses to the two requests or motions submitted by the defense non Par la défense de but first, I want to give the floor to uh, the defense team for mi Mr. Nguyen Chia. So you can proceed with your request uh, orally. Allez vous pouvez votre and please à provide the reasons why you wanted, to, wanted the chamber to admit those documents. Requête. Uh, considering the time, I think Mr. President might be useful to now refer to the content of the two motions. Um, the, only thing that, the only reason that I was rising um, is to um, clarify that one document um, has already been admitted um, by the trial chamber, that is um, document in the public, in the attachment, um, document 20, uh, attachment 8, um, the public document, that is Philip Short's um, Phnom Penh Post article, Devil's Advocate. Um, and um, if I'm saying this correctly, it already has an um, E, not an E3 number, but, a, but, a, but another number, E367 slash 4.1.8. Um, so, assuming that I'm correct and that that document is already admitted, we will draw the request for that particular document. So that is just my uh, clarification on that uh, motion. Can I just suggest, Council, since this is a public hearing, that you at least with a few words, not too long, explain why this is coming so late? Um, yes. Um, there are various reasons Maître why um, oui. we're filing this request raisons. now. Um, it is true that certain documents were already available um, even before the opening of the trial. Um, other documents aren't. Um, it is um, only definite that this expert is testifying um, since, since a week or so when uh, permission was granted um, by the United Nations um, to him to, for him to testify. Um, it is correct that we could have uh, filed this request earlier, but because of resources, um, we weren't able to do it uh, until now. I, I realize and admit it's, it's short notice, but we believe it's still uh, in time. Um, in addition to this, we have filed uh, another request in relation to a document to be admitted. Uh, uh, it was in fact a request for reconsideration, and the trial hasn't ruled on that, so uh, filing a, a motion earlier doesn't necessarily uh, lead to an earlier decision. Uh, however, um, it is in the light of all the recent testimony, especially on the Khmer SAR, um, and uh, that we are filing this now, 
it's, it's late, admitted, but um, Certes, not related. Il est tard, uh, mais ce n'est pas trop tard. Uh, there are reasons enough Et je pense qu'il y a suffisamment de raisons justifiant l'admission de ce document, um, parce qu'il y a un certain nombre de questions qui se posent par rapport expert. à l'indépendance et l'impartialité um, de cet expert and, en particulier. Um, so I think, uh, Ainsi, the requests or the two motions are je pense que les deux requêtes sont recevables. President, thank you. Now the chamber gives the floor Merci to the co-prosecutors to make oral responses. Thank you, Mr. President and Your Honours. Uh, first, let me explain that uh, I am at a disadvantage in that I haven't been able to read the documents in their entirety, which we received today. I have them printed here in this notebook, double-sided, so I would estimate there are approximately 200 pages, some of it quite dense and small print. But I've, uh, I think I've skimmed at least all documents, and I'm prepared to make a comment, I believe, on each, and it perhaps would make sense, in my view, to go through them one by one. So starting with E367-41, Four point one point one. I'll go through those attachments. The first one is an interview with the um, witness, the expert witness, and this and a couple of the other documents that contain statements of the witness, we would not object to, and we could see obviously their relevance, and it uh, could help the trial chamber and the search for the truth to have those admitted. We don't object. Attachment two is the vacancy notice, uh, which we find irrelevant. Attachment three is a document with the list of witnesses that the uh, expert witness has participated in interviews with as of a certain date with OCIJ. And I understand from the motion that this has been authorized for release by OCIJ. However, I would say that uh, you know, it would depend on how this document is used. I want to make it clear that we do not feel that the chamber is calling the witness to have an investigator or a person who participated in interviews for any judicial body come and simply relate et raconter ensuite le contenu de tous les entretiens auxquels il a participé. Il est ici pour présenter son avis en tant qu'expert. Il peut y avoir des circonstances dans lesquelles la défense pourra suivre son opinion est influencée par les travaux qu'il a réalisés pour les travaux que nous avons fait. Mais ce que je veux dire très clairement, c'est que je ne vais pas parler de ce que les autres ont dit de l'OCIG during his employment with OCIJ. I don't think that would be proper, and that's not the purpose I understand the chamber is calling the witness. For attachment four, um, is again a document authored by the witness, so we think it's um, proper to include that. And it'll be helpful to the trial chamber. Then we come with, to a series of documents starting here with this next attachment, which I guess must be number five, if I have it in order. The Cambodian cinq. genocide debate moves to trial, where the defense has attached various individuals' opinions about whether the events of democratic Kampuchea constituted a genocide of the CHAM. Some of these are by people who are not even lawyers. None of them are people who quote any jurisprudence on genocide or even quote in proper context the entire definition of genocide, the intent, specific acts done with the intent to destroy in whole or in part a national, racial, religious, or ethnic group in whole or in part, as such. So, uh, of course, the defense is free to copy these arguments. They, of course, will submit to the court on what the elements of genocide are and whether the evidence in this case fits that definition, and we will answer that. We're confident that the evidence shows there was, meets the international jurisprudence of the definition of genocide. 
that there was an intent to kill the Cham as such, to destroy that group as such within Cambodia. En tant que group, um, and it's not proper to simply il have il est, il est other people's opinions, de whether it's Kiernan, Hinton saying they think it was qui, genocide or victory or Chandler saying they think it wasn't. Chandler this is a matter for your honors to determine as it is a legal question. Vous, Moreover, none of those, none of those experts have knowledge of the evidence that has been developed in this court, in this trial, including in the past month. So I would object to that document. The next document is from the Bulletin of Concerned Asian Scholars. Uh, and it's by Asiatique. I recognize that this contains much factual matter about the history of the Cham, about his research, about what happened in various districts. It's factual, and uh, we think it could be relevant, so we do not have an objection to that. Similarly, the next document is Vickery's comments on population figures. We do see the issue of how many individuals were killed or the percentage were killed as relevant. The international jurisprudence makes it clear that genocide is not simply a matter of quantity killed or percentage killed. It's a matter of the intent. However, those are clearly factors that could be relevant in determining the intent. So we don't object to the documents that go to the various debates about how the population of Cham before and after the democratic transition period, they could be helpful to the Muranos in the search for the truth, even though this Michael Vickery is clearly the most pro-defense uh, author on this, on this issue. We don't object to it. I think the Muranos certainly could have some value in it, considering his opinion. The next document is Devil's Advocate. There should be no Kimmerer's trial. I understand the defense will say it's already on the record. If it isn't, we would object for the reasons I previously stated, that it's an author giving his opinion about uh, genocide, who in fact is not a lawyer and doesn't have access to the facts of this case. And that is a legal question. The next document, again, we would object to for the same reasons, and that's someone on the other side of the debate. No, excuse me, I believe it's on the same side of the debate. But why did they kill? Again, someone giving their opinion as to what the elements of genocide are and whether it occurred against the Chan, the Democratic Camp of Chia. The defense is happy, is uh, free, of course, to copy those and make those arguments to the chamber, and we will show why they're wrong when we get to the final brief and final argument. The same thing with the next point, evidence of intent lacking. It's about the definition of genocide. Also, the next La document, genocide definition. We object to those. The next document is from Kiernan, again on the demographics and how he calculates the figures. We again think the, quantity, the numbers killed could be relevant, so it should be admitted. The next document is a uh, newspaper article or a magazine article by Stephanie Geary, The Genocide That Wasn't. Again, it is. Uh, expressing a view on a legal nouveau, issue of genocide that is up to your honors and should not be admitted to the defense are free to present her arguments in their own words during the final submissions. Uh, the next art article contains a lot of uh, statements from the expected witness, so we think it would be relevant, de déclaration could be relevant, and we don't object to it. Expert, et donc cela peut être the next nous article, the Cham's long wait nearly over, la quotes one of our prosecutors quite a bit, and uh, actually, though we don't see anything in it of relevance, it certainly doesn't hurt us, but there's nothing relevant in our, doc, in our view, and especially considering the timing of the motion should not be admitted. The next two documents are in Khmer only, so I did not read them, I believe. This is on the next motion. And um, I believe that these are confessions. 
we would object. Uh, Your Honours, I'm surely have read the Supreme Court's ruling on the use of torture evidence. Uh, just to reiterate our position before and after that decision. First, our position is anyone interviewed in S21 was the victim of torture. All of those interviews have taken place under conditions of torture, which is defined as severe physical or mental suffering. And anyone going to that institution shackled, the diet that they were given, hearing the tortures that were going on or being aware of the likelihood of death, would certainly have suffered severe mental harm. De, de, de ne pas Our position is they can only be admitted when not offered to prove the truth personnes. of the matter confessed. Donc, on we ne don't believe these are offered for that purpose, although the defense hasn't been specific about why they were offered. The next document, the long history of the tragedy of the Chan, the long tragedy of Chan history, document number three. We don't have an objection to it, although I don't think there's anything unique in that document. It refers to factual matters about Chan history. The next document, Cambodia's Khmer Seri movement. Your Honor, I think uh, this is interesting. It, uh, it's a matter where I think a lot of people, including in this trial, have misrepresented what the Khmer Seri were, and there could be some value to Your Honor reading this history. However, I don't see any relevance to the Cham, as the Cham were not mentioned, nor do I think in the evidence is there any that I'm aware of, but I think there's no evidence of Cham involvement in Khmer Seri. Certainly, we're Khmer Krom, heavily involved in Khmer Seri, not the Cham. So we don't find that that document is relevant to the witness. Um, document 5, again, we see no relevance to the issue of the Cham or the witness. There's are several documents that are coming up now that relate to General Lee Kosum, if I'm pronouncing his name correct. And I think this is well known, uh, and there's already much on the record about who he was. He was a Cham general in the Long Nol Army. I don't think that's in dispute. And I don't see anything in these documents that is relevant to the issues in this trial and especially considering the late date that they were offered. So document five, also document six, which I think the defense indicates is important because it shows the close U.S. law and cooperation. I don't think there's any doubt that that is, we all know that the U.S. cooperated closely with law and Que les I don't think there's anything of value added by admitting that document to this witness. The document 7, again, we would object for similar reasons. There's nothing about the CHAM. I take it back that maybe one document I, I haven't dit, yet document had an opportunity to read. But I don't see anything looking at it quickly. Mais about the cham. un coup d'œil rapide ne me montre rien du tout au sujet des CHAM. Document 8. Document 8. Is a, a cable about U.S. interactions with Law No. Again, we don't see any relevance to the issues in this case about the DK period and the CHAM and relevance to this witness. Document 9, the same. I think some of these documents, these last documents, are about attempts to receive uh, support, to um, seek support from Muslim countries for the law and no government. We don't think that that's relevant to any issues in the case. So document 10, we reject to. Document 11, we reject to. And document 12. Document 13. is basically about uh, forces Khmer Seri, I believe, that were 
planning to move against Prince Prince when he was in power. We don't think that's relevant to the issues that will be covered by the expert witness. Document 14. Although it contains some factual matters, uh, there's, there's really nothing new. We don't believe it uh, is necessary or particularly relevant for the witness. And I may be missing the last document. Is there one more? Document 15. I think, that's, I think that's all. I think I've covered all documents. President, the floor is now given to the lead call lawyers for civil parties to make oral responses to the motions of the defense team for Mr. Nounchi. You may now proceed. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président, Thank you, Mr. à l'exception des, des confessions, Except for the dont il est désormais établi que la, la Cour devra les, les rejeter. Nous nous en remettons à l'appréciation de la Chambre. And nous n'avons pas d'objectif particulier sur le reste des documents qui font l'objet des deux requêtes 84 proposées par le Nounchi. President, you have the floor now, Judge Lavagna. Yes, perhaps we need some clarifications from Counsel Copé. Can you please specify exactly why you are requesting that S21 confessions be ruled admissible? Um, first of all, um, Judge Lavergne, there are many, many confessions admitted um, to the case file. Uh, I don't know how many, but uh, hundreds of S21 confessions are part of the case file. file. So uh, the request to have uh, confessions in this particular case que, of um, Cham people admitted is, Cham. is not an unusual request. Uh, uh, we filed uh, this motion in relation Nous to these confessions because pour um, ces aveux. Uh, the expert is basing uh, quite a substantial part of, of his book on his analysis, his evaluation of those S21 confessions son analyse de ses aveux émanant de S21. Of, um, Cham rebellion leaders. De, uh, obviously, it's clear that the trial chamber uh, de leurs aveux de S21. On, on la chambre a décidé que nous n'avons pas le droit d'utiliser les um, documents pour um, pose, lui poser des questions que d'une reprise, such, mais les aveux um, en tant que tels font partie du dossier pénal. Je suis d'avis donc uh, que nous devrions verser ces aveux au dossier pénal car ils sont pertinents. Mais si je comprends bien, vous yes. entendez, n'entendez pas utiliser le contenu de ces aveux do not des intend to use the contents of those confessions to put questions to the expert. Entendez-vous utiliser le contenu de ces aveux pour poser des questions? Do you intend to use the contents of those confessions to put questions to the expert? Um, uh, Mr. You are very clear that I'm not allowed to do that. Vous avez dit clairement que je n'ai pas le droit de le faire. But it doesn't mean that I shouldn't Cela be able to. Ça ne veut pas dire que je ne devrais pas être en mesure que la défense ne va pas pouvoir savoir ce qu'il y a dans ces aveux qui ne sont qu'en Khmer. Nous savons que dans son ouvrage, l'expert a beaucoup utilisé du contenu de ces aveux. Afin de voir autant de connaissances que l'expert, je nous pense qu'il est important que ces aveux, comme bien d'autres d'ailleurs, fassent partie du dossier. Again, we will not use uh, the plus, documents to ask specific questions as to what, uh, um, 
ce qu'aurait dit tel ou tel prisonnier de Cham S21, mais nous sommes d'avis que nous devrions avoir au moins accès à ces aveux qu'il devrait faire une traduction. Et comme je l'ai dit, comme bien d'autres aveux qui sont déjà versés au dossier pénal. Monsieur le Président, les deux documents en Khmer, nous aimerions savoir si la Défense a demandé de présenter une demande de traduction. Ce semblerait que ce soit des interviews placées des CAM avec ce qu'aurait fait le témoin et des aveux, ce ne sont pas deux aveux. Donc nous aimerions savoir il y a combien de temps la Défense a demandé que la traduction soit faite et si elle a reçu une indication de quand les traductions oui, seront prêtes. Maître Cooper, nous n'avons pas encore demandé la traduction de ces documents. La même question se pose pour les documents Same qui ne sont disponibles en anglais. Documents that are available only in English. La Défense, non. Monsieur le juge, nous ne l'avons pas fait. Mais bien évidemment, dès qu'ils seront jugés recevables, la traduction suivra. Mais la plupart de ces documents ne sont disponibles qu'en une seule langue. Le Président. Maître Coppe, si vous me permettez de cliquer à la réponse des procureurs. Le Président. Le Président de la Défense de M. Kiosan n'a pas encore fait ses observations. Donc attendez. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je pensais Thank que you, vous nous Mr. aviez oubliés. Euh, je serai très brève. Je ne vais pas I'll mentir à la Chambre en disant que j'ai uh, pu, euh, nous avons pu prendre connaissance de l'ensemble like des documents uh, 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 avant de, 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 de parler aujourd'hui. En revanche, uh, uh, nous sommes très respectueux uh, du fait que uh, uh, nous allons, uh, uh, nous, nous sommes devant But, une requête faite par uh, une équipe de défense uh, qui estime que ce sont des documents qui sont utiles dans le cadre de sa défense dans un procès important. Nous sommes aussi conscients qu'il s'agit de documents pour interroger. Uh, Monsieur Isa Osman, qui est considéré comme un expert par la Chambre et donc uh, qui est susceptible uh, d'apporter un éclairage Osman, qui sera utile dans la délibération this chamber, uh, de uh, la Chambre. To et uh, chamber dans ces conditions, nous estimons on, uh, que tous uh, les éléments qui peuvent that, uh, permettre uh, de rendre son témoignage approfondi et qui puisse également... Uh, Um, euh, mettre en lumière euh, peut-être un manque parfois euh, d'objectivité euh, sont des éléments qui sont utiles. Nous l'avions euh, en notre temps, nous-mêmes, et to également, euh, également euh, énoncé hein, lorsque nous nous opposions à son caractère. Uh, Pour toute cette cause, so, si euh, ces documents semblent case, utiles euh, à la défense de Nunchea dans le cadre de sa défense, nous ne pouvons pas nous opposer et nous nous en rapportons à l'appréciation de la Chambre. Case, we'll on the discretion of the chamber. Merci, Monsieur le Président. J'ai trois remarques en réplique à la réponse des procureurs. Nous comprenons que nous ne pouvons pas poser des questions à l'expert quant à la définition juridique du génocide. Je me souviendrai que l'expert Philippe Short, à un moment donné, avait donné des témoignages ou que tu avais déposé si, à savoir s'il y avait eu génocide ou non. Et la juge Carter avait dit non, nous ne voulons pas savoir ça. Mais dans ce cas-ci, cette personne est un expert, et peut-être à part Kiernan, il est le seul chercheur, le seul auteur qui dit qu'un génocide a eu lieu. Il a adopté cette position et il a exprimé clairement. Donc la seule façon pour la défense de pouvoir rétablir l'équilibre dans le débat, 
et de faire verser des opinions d'autres chercheurs comme Vickery, mais aussi Chandler, un expert de, du tribunal, et Philip Short, qui tous deux ont dit qu'ils sont d'avis qu'il n'y a pas eu de génocide des Chams. Of course, I am mindful of not having a debate next week about that definition. But just to allow the defense to balance the discussion, we have submitted these documents and should be added to the court. And I think that the court has made a mistake. And I think that the court has made a mistake. And I think that the court has made a mistake. And I think that the court has made a mistake. And I think that the court has made a mistake. And I think that the court has made a mistake. And I think that the court has made a mistake. Ce qu'il a fait sous l'armée de London, ce n'est pas ce pourquoi nous voulons faire verser ces documents. Ce qu'il aurait fait, c'est-à-dire lorsqu'il était dans l'armée de London, mais vous vous souviendrez qu'à plus d'une reprise, j'ai confronté des témoins à des déclarations de Ho Bon Chun qui lui fait référence à la révolte des Cham en 1975. In that context, spoke about a group of Chams in the United States and referred to an organization called Fulgur. These documents that we would like to admit suggest that there is a connection between these generals and the Cossacks. Some of the documents that we would like to admit suggest that there is a connection between these generals and the Cossacks. Some of the documents that we would like to admit suggest that there is a connection between these generals and the Cossacks. Some of the documents that we would like to admit suggest that there is a connection between these generals and the Cossacks. Some of the documents that we would like to admit suggest that there is a connection between these generals and the Cossacks. Some of the documents that we would like to admit suggest that there is a connection between these generals and the Cossacks. Some of the documents that we would like to admit suggest that there is a connection between these generals and the Cossacks. Some of the documents that we would like to admit suggest that there is a connection between these generals and the Cossacks. Some of the documents that we would like to admit suggest that there is a connection between these generals and the Cossacks. Some of the documents that we je suis d'avis que cela ajoute de la matière au débat de faire verser de tels documents. Dernière remarque en guise de réplique. En fait, c'est plutôt une question que j'aimerais poser. Il est exact que nous avons ajouté un ou deux documents à propos montrant la position de l'expert, plutôt le poste plutôt. Le fait que cette personne ait eu un poste ici au CETC, mais il est aussi un auteur d'ouvrage qui a beaucoup de connaissances sur les Chams et leur foi. Mais aussi, il a participé pleinement dans l'instruction, notamment l'instruction dans les autres dossiers. Ce que se demande la question, la défense, c'est si la Chambre permettra ou donnera à la défense un peu plus de marge de manœuvre lui permettant de poser des questions à l'expert sur comment il a mené certaines interviews dans le dossier 4. Et en particulier, je, je n'entendrai pas dans les détails, mais la Chambre a peut-être remarqué qu'il y a une différence marquée entre ce qu'a dit un témoin dans son procès verbal d'audition la semaine dernière ou il y a deux semaines en huis clos et ce qu'elle a dit en, chambre, en salle d'audience. Nous sommes donc d'avis qu'il serait très utile de savoir ce que cet expert en dans son, sa qualité d'enquêteur a à dire au sujet de ces How did he ask the questions? Comment il a posé ces questions? A-t-il orienté les témoins? I believe that is something that we should be able to explore. Nous, je pense que nous devons pouvoir explorer ces possibilités, et c'est pourquoi nous avons ajusté la description de poste et aussi la liste. Et par exemple, dans les autres témoins qui interviewent, il a joué un rôle essentiel comme enquêteur dans le dossier 2, dans le dossier, dans l'instruction 4, et nous voulons être capables de poser des questions à ce sujet. Pour essayer de voir si, en effet, il est le chercheur indépendant et objectif qu'il prétend être et qu'il est tout aussi impartial dans l'instruction 2 et l'instruction 4. May I, Mr. President, a few remarks in response to what counsel just said. First of all, the witness is being called as an expert in the CHAM segment, and I think it is important that the chamber make it clear that this is not a witness as to OCIJ procedures. It is not a witness as to OCIJ procedures. It is not a witness as to OCIJ procedures. That the witness is employed by OCIJ is something the defense is happy. It's certainly entitled to bring out and the fact that we should consider. 
et c'est que la Chambre devrait, dont la Chambre devrait tenir compte en évaluation son, sa déposition. Et la Chambre peut très bien dire ou mettre en doute soit son impartialité, soit sa partialité. Donc, quant aux procédures du bureau des coaches d'instruction et ce qui se passe dans les instructions, l'exemple que vient de donner euh, le Conseil, des, 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 des auditions auxquelles le Conseil n'était pas présent, ce que je sache, ça n'a absolument rien à voir avec le segment sur les CHAM qui nous occupe. Et aussi pour corriger, General Cosem, uh, council said there's General evidence Cosem. in this case. Le conseil a dit qu'il y a des Chum éléments de preuve dans ce dossier que Obum Chum aurait dit qu'il existait uh, des preuves Cham were planning que les Cham planifiaient la création de leur propre État. Uh, mais chamber, la Chambre a rejeté ces preuves car meeting, il était bien évident que l'extrait que lisait le conseil était ce que Obum Chum disait que des gens avaient dit dans leurs aveux. Et donc, cela ne fait pas partie du dossier. Maintenant, quant aux avis sur l'existence d'un génocide, l'avis d'experts, à savoir si les événements qui sont survenus pendant la période du complot démocratique répondent à la définition juridique du génocide, et nous sommes d'accord qu'aucun expert ne doit offrir d'avis juridique sur cette question, et nous n'allons certainement pas poser à cet expert des questions à TCE 94 lui demander quelle est son opinion à savoir s'il y a eu génocide ou non. Le Conseil peut tout à fait soulever différentes interprétations des faits de ce qui s'est passé. C'est pourquoi nous ne nous opposons pas à ce que l'article par Michael Vickery soit versé, car c'est intéressant de voir comment lui calcule les statistiques et le nombre de chams qui est situé sous le projet démocratique. Des opinions des experts sur les faits, cela est bien différent de leur opinion sur des définitions juridiques. Donc, pour être cohérent avec le Conseil, nous ne poserons pas de questions à ce témoin quant à sa, son opinion de la définition juridique du génocide, à savoir si on répond aux critères du génocide dans ce dossier-ci. Et donc, voilà pourquoi la défense n'a pas à rétablir l'équilibre en versant au dossier l'avis de personnes qui ne sont pas des avocats euh, en droit pénal international euh, sur ces définitions. Le président, vous avez la parole. Convocate principale pour lui participer. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Une courte observation. Il me semble que la question est savoir si l'expert pourra témoigner sur ce qui se passe dans le dossier 4 a déjà été tranché et abordé quelque part, puisque cela fait très clairement partie de la lettre du co-juge d'instruction internationale. Et je me réfère à ce document E367-1, dans lequel il est clairement indiqué que Georgia ne pourra pas témoigner sur ce qui se passe dans le dossier. Issa Osman will not testify in, in regard to what happens est, in case four, and I believe this question is traité. completely irrelevant insofar as it has already been resolved. Is there a problem with the mention in I apologize. I, I was worried about, a close, about whether something was public or not, but I don't think it's a problem. J'étais inquiet à savoir si c'était public ou non, mais je ne pense pas que ce soit un problème. Apologize for the interruption. Et je regrette cette interruption. Le président. So I want to know whether Donc, any other parties je veux savoir si like d'autres parties souhaitent s'exprimer à nouveau, de faire une dernière réponse. One very, very, very brief remark oui, très, très in reply to the prosecution on the full row and Ubuntu. Je reviens sur le sujet du full row et de Ubuntu. Il est vrai que vous, avez, vous êtes déjà prononcé sur cette partie de l'interview qu'il a donnée, mais il faisait référence à des événements qui avaient lieu en 1975, donc ce n'était certainement pas des aveux S21, car S21 n'existait pas cette, cette année-là. Donc s'il a fait référence à des aveux, 
C'était peut-être le centre de sécurité de Kreutzma, mais la chambre de première instance n'a pas encore établi s'il y a eu de la torture à Kreutzma. Donc, je ne crois pas qu'il est juste de dire que quoi que ce soit qu'a dit le Ogbonchun au sujet du Fulro a maintenant été est retiré du débat. Le procureur, oui, j'aimerais simplement dire que les, les aveux S21 traitent aussi de questions et de faits survenus en 1975. Le président, Motions of the defense team for Mr. Nunjir has now come to an end. Voilà qui met fin the chamber is grateful to all parties for la chambre est reconnaissante envers les parties. Addressing the pour, chamber uh, and for submitting responses and sur cette replies. Question. The chamber will use all the arguments uh, for the basis of the decision chambre, which will be issued pour in due course. So that Sa décision de tour qui sera rendue en temps utile quant à l'utilisation de ces le documents pour l'interrogatoire de, de TCE 85. Voilà qui met fin aux audiences Monday, de cette semaine. Et nous reprendrons les débats lundi. On that day, the chamber will hear two TCE 95. Ce jour-là, la chambre entendra deux TCE 95. Security personnel are instructed to bring Mr. Kizembon and Nunji back to the ECCC detention facility and have them returned to into the courtroom on Monday, 8 February 2016, before 9 a.m. The court is now adjourned.